I'll be starting off this DIY project with two Dollar Tree trays glued together. I'll be using hot glue to glue both trays together. Using hot glue like this is going to affect the surface of my trays, but that's not going to bother me that much because it's going to be covered with something else and it won't be noticeable at the end of the day. Now I'm going to go ahead and use tape to measure out how wide my tray is and just how many of the crystals that I'll be using for this project. If I was gonna space out the crystals one inch apart, it will be 43 crystals that I'll be needing in total. But because I don't have that much and I need to add crystals in the middle as well, so I'm gonna be making points 1.5 inches apart instead. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be making holes on those points with a drill bit. This is what it should look like on the other side and I will continue this all round. The next thing I'm going to do is leave out spaces for the lighting to make sure that when I add the holes for the crystals, it will not take up the space for the lighting. Now I'm just going to have random points around here and make holes on those points. Now for the crystals, I will be using Christmas ornaments, but then I'm not going to be using the ones from the Dollar Tree because I got something much more cheaper when I traveled. So these are the crystals that I will be using for the project. Now for those of you that have crystal ornament leftovers, you can definitely use them for this project. I will carefully remove the ornaments from the packs and then pass them through the holes and hold them down with tape. The tape, of course, is not gonna hold the crystals in place for too long, but this is just so that I can have them where I want them to be first, before I then go ahead and use a strong adhesive on the holes to make sure that the crystals stay tightly in place. Now, because I didn't have a lot of crystals, I made sure that my spacing was wide, but if you have a lot of crystals, it'll be advisable to have them closely together so that when the lights are on, it will be emitting beautiful lights through the crystals. Leaving enough space where the push lights are going to be was such a good idea because as I am inserting the crystals, I knew exactly where the push lights were going to be and that helped a lot. When I was done with this stage, I then went ahead to use a strong adhesive on each and every one of the holes. Now I'm going to flip this over and add the remote control push lights. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below.
If you want the sliding flushed to the ceiling, you can use command strips at the top here and just have it attached up to the ceiling. But I want mine suspended. Before I get into that, I'm gonna be covering up this opening here. And what I'm gonna be using will be table mats. I'm gonna cut the table mats in to the size that I want with a pair of scissors and then attach it all around. I'm going to be adding up the pieces in such a way that you won't really see where they meet. Like right here, and it's hard to tell that I have two pieces joined there. Now I'm going to take a long strip of bling wrap. This is in three. I'm going to be cutting it into singular strips and that's what I'm going to be using to suspend my lighting. I'm going to pass it through three sides and hold it on the other side with a tight string. I'm gonna hold all three strings with this and it's a curtain holder it's used for holding curtains or even heavy draperies. Now I use this to hold all three strings together and you can open it up like this and attach it to whatever you have on the ceiling. I have a cup hook on the ceiling that I'll be using to have it fixed to the cup hook. I'll be cutting out a round board from a cake pan to cover up the top of the lighting that's rough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the sliding on the cup hook that I have already installed on the ceiling. This came out so beautiful and I'm glad I did this because now I put up the leftover crystals from Christmas to good use. Thank you all so much for watching. I have the home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.